The next supplication, which will be discussed is found in chapter 3, verse 9. Our Lord, surely you will gather the people for a day about which there is no doubt. Indeed, Allah does not fail in his promise. This verse reminds Muslims of the importance of reflection and regularly assessing their deeds. As the majority of Muslims do not understand the Arabic language, abundant worship will not change them for the better. This change can only occur when one judges their deeds during life. When this is done with sincerity, it will inspire them to strive harder in performing righteous deeds and cause them to sincerely repent from their sins. Only through this will a Muslim's character change for the better. In addition, when one truly reflects over their deeds and the purpose of their creation, they will be granted a special insight. This insight will allow them to truly and honestly reflect and assess the pros and cons of this material world. It will also allow them to reflect and assess the pros and cons of the hereafter. Finally, it will allow them to compare these pros and cons to each other. This will lead them to realize a truth which Muslims acknowledge, but only a few truly understand, namely, that the material world is temporary, imperfect, and every blessing in it, will eventually end. Whereas, the hereafter is eternal, perfect, and every blessing in it will endure, forever. This realization will inspire one to prioritize, preparing for the eternal hereafter, over chasing after the unnecessary aspects, of this material world. This realization, generally speaking, is not possible to achieve through abundant worship and recitation of a language one does not understand. This is achieved through reflection, which this supplication hints at. Finally, this supplication reminds Muslims that all their deeds will be judged on Judgment Day. When one truly ponders and engraves this truth in their mind, it will inspire them to fulfill the commands of Allah, the exalted, refrain from his prohibitions, which includes, not wronging others, and face destiny with patience, according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him.